Well, so I've got a few more bag items here to do. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been holding these for a little bit because the um, fluke has been taking up my entire bench. I've had to move it out of the way so I could get these out of the way because, um, yeah, it's, I've also got too many. All right, so I guess the first thing I open up is uh, this one here. I think it's from far now. Find a way into the bag, but damaging it. Here we go. Have a little catalog. I'll have to have a look at that. Could have stuffed it in the bag a bit better, but anyway. It's always interesting having little catalogs when you haven't seen one for a little while. Let's see what we've got in here. I'm not quite sure what I've got. Uh, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff recently for different things, mostly for the fluke, um, but not just for the fluke. How much packaging is there? This is, for, no, this is ridiculous. Okay, come on. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Massive bag. There's one transistor in there. It's <laughs> uh, funny. It's actually five in this one. It's supposed to be. Yeah, there is. Oh my god. Right, so there's five transistors in there. Two in five three two two, and this is a two in four oh three six. Now these are substitute parts for the fluke. Um, there's some parts in there which I am suspecting. So uh, those are for that. Okay, next item. No idea what this is. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here, which is. Um, if you like my bag videos, remember to uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up and, on, and you know a like on the video, and what have you, in order to help publicise it a bit more and give it some more visitors and more people can enjoy it too. If you don't like them, then give it a thumbs up anyway, because somebody else might like them. Right, people do like these videos. Uh, let's see. Now this is a yeah um, mini Viriac. So the idea here is you mains power right. It's a mini mini Viriac. It's supposed to be four thousand watts. I don't think so. Probably forty watts is probably more likely. All right, next item. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully the air conditioning is not making too much noise. I've tried to um, insulate the microphone from any vibration. The air conditioning is on the other side of the room, but it's still... I don't know, there may be some vibration coming through, which the mic's picking up, I don't know. But what I've done now is I've rubber-mounted the microphone and the um, shield that's on the front. You know. I'll show you. This shield here. Right, I've rubber-mounted it all. So hopefully it um, makes it a little bit quieter takes away some of the rumble it may not but I hope it does I'll need the aircon on it's just it's summer here and it's too hot now so actually what we got so so focused on talking about that SD tweezers okay I believe these are from Banggood actually so again I'll put the links down below again they're tracked um, all links are tracked now um, for Banggood and um, it helps me to get points and stuff on this site so I can you know get more things basically so let's have a look, look at the specs and stuff on this thing. Uh, yeah, well, you can read that yourself. I'm not going to read it out to you. I'll get it closer. You can maybe see it all a bit better. Right, you can just pause it where you need to and have a look. Okay. Just, just to speed the process up a little bit. And the rear. I don't. I never read these things anyway, so you know it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Unless I can't figure something out, then I'll read the manual. OK, 
Okay, so the next thing is from RS components. So there's a good chance that this is capacitors. Yeah, that goes, don't you? Eh? So let's have a look. And inside this box of packaging, somewhere. You're kidding. You're bloody kidding me. All of this for that. It's capacitors anyway, so. But look at this packaging, just for this. There's nothing else in there. Let's check under the flaps, got something slipped under. But no, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Yeah, all that packaging. Just for these. That's a bit extreme. But hey, it's free postage. I shouldn't really complain. It's just very wasteful. It's more stuff I have to throw away. So these are obviously actual capacitors. These are for the Fluke uh, 5200A, which I'm in the process of repairing, which you must know about, surely. Uh, 22UF 40 volt. So I need some more 22UF. I think this was for the AC to DC converter section, if I remember rightly. So, anyway. What's next? Okay, so next thing. I've got no idea what this is. No, what's that say? Prism. Oh, right. I, oh yes, I watched a video not long ago, um, who was it, was it Cody's Lab or, I don't think it's AVE, or Cody's Lab, who was it, oh it's gone, but anyway I watched a video recently from another channel, and it involved prisms. And I decided to buy some because they looked like an interesting little thing to have a look at. There you go, so there's two in there. Right, so these are supposed to be 40 ones. There's a little chip on the corner, maybe that's what makes it 40. But uh, yeah, were they called dichroatic or something? Dichroatic? Someone had a video on these things. I just need to remember who it is. Um, yeah. I don't think it's Cody's Lab. It could have been Cody's Lab. I don't know. Someone did a video. Oh, I'm sorry if I've forgotten. <laughs> um, so let's see if I can get anything out of these to see if there's any interesting I can show you let's turn this light off here there you go so I'll turn these other lights off as well hold on so there you go well, that's um, flooding out slightly but you can get the different colours out of it right, so the green always passes straight through it looks like you always get green straight through you get the red and blue come out the other sides. Is this as fine as I can go on this? I think it is. I don't know how it looks. Maybe. Anyway. So, that's the idea with these things. Just do you know, pretty patterns. Anyway, I thought my kids might like them. Christmas present. Shh, don't tell them. I don't think they watch my videos anyway, so I think it's pretty fine. <laughs> right, let's get some more lights back on. We'll be on to the next thing. Okay, remember who did the video on these on these uh, prisms? Thunderfoot did it. Thunderfoot. Yes, that makes more sense. Okay, so Thunderfoot did a video on these things. So if, if you know this channel, go and have a look at it. If you don't know of it, go and find it. It's pretty cool. Right, next thing. Not very exciting this one, I know this is. These are just some LED bezels. Um, 5mm LED bezels. I think they're all 5mm. Oh, there's some 3mm in there. Alright. There's some 3mm bezels there. 5mm bezels here. Always handy things to have if you're doing projects and, and um, building things. I had the issue when I was building my power supply for my lighting system. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch it. It's, I don't know, probably about 
uh, six videos back or something. Um, did it a couple of weeks ago. But when I was building out, I didn't have any bezels to mount the LEDs, so I had to glue the thing in. So I've got some bezels now. That's all good. Okay, next thing. Don't forget to check the links out in the bottom in the description. A couple of uh, USB extension cables. I don't remember I bought purchased these from. They might be from Banggood, they might be from AliExpress. I really don't remember. These are USB 3 cables, right? Not USB 2. Well, it doesn't seem to say it on there anywhere. But USB 3 is the blue connectors, and if you look in there, you can probably see it. Right, you see the pins in there, hopefully. Right, so, at least 500 centimeters. That's like 50 centimeters? Yeah, half meter. Two half meter cables. This, I got these for my um, one of my backup drives to plug in the computer because it's only got really short leads, about that long, and it just reaches, so I want to stick this on, make it easy to deal with. Okay, next thing. Find where to cut it. Probably here. Oh yes, that's right. Now, I discovered the other day that I can't find my anti-static wrist strap. I seem to have lost it. Um, I don't tend to use it anyway, to be honest. I mean, I've got this bench here and I've got, you know, this anti static anyway, so I'm always touching this and I don't wear cot uh, only wear cotton, I don't wear nylons or anything like that. I tend to be barefoot in this room too, so it's not really an issue, I don't think. But, um, but anyway, I realised my strap has disappeared, so well, better get a new one. Because it's one of these things, you know, when you need one, you need one. And um, you know, sometimes you have to have one. If you're doing something particularly sensitive, you know, um, then yeah, you definitely need to uh, get one of these things. So I need to replace the one I've lost. Don't know where the hell it's gone. It's, it's like a mystery. Anyway, a nice uh, stretchy strap there. You know, that's all right. It's got a little latch there. So if you need, to, once you've got it set, you can just latch it. So we don't need the full length. That's fine. Um, let's stick the on. All good. And then obviously you've got a ground plane thing there and core clip and a four mil club, uh, four mil clip as usual. So I'm going to plug that straight into like my power supply, for example. Boom. That's grounded, you see. And um, I'm grounded. All good. So yeah, I actually had the strap, well the um, the cable, just not the wrist strap. It's bloody odd. You know, the one I lost, it's just very strange. So, But my hands are quite big, so it makes it hard for me to get my hand in here, really. But uh, let's see if I can pop that open, pull a bit more out. So, yeah. No, you actually, you don't get the other thing for the strap, obviously, you get it through the back piece here. Let's do a resistance measure on that. I see my meter's actually running. And we'll see what we get. Uh, Do. Yeah, one meg ohm. One meg ohm resistance. So, yeah, that's fine. It just has to be a some kind of earth path without being a direct short. So that's all good. 